Morning Year 4, it's Friday the 22nd of January. This is an English lesson for all Year 4 pupils. We're going to be writing speech into our story setting. Let's just quickly look at yesterday's work where you were asked to put in the punctuation. And you see here there was a capital letter missing. Always start with a capital letter. And th there was no close of inverted commas here. And then when he spoke again, because this is a split sentence, you needed to open the speech again. It was the same person speaking, so you didn't need a new line. And then you needed to close the speech marks at the end. Number seven was quite a tricky one. Number eight. This one says, I'll take the blue one, said the lady. Here you go, replied the man. So straight away you should think to yourself, ah, that's two people speaking, so I'm going to have to start on a new line for my second speaker. Here, there was some speech marks missing, inverted commas missing at the beginning to open the speech for the lady and close the speech. When she's finished, I'll take the blue one. And then the full stop at the end. Don't forget that there. And then when this man speaks, we need to put his speech on a new line because it's a new character to show the reader it's a different character. So you can see here, here we, here you go. Closing speech marks there, not forgetting that little comma. Replied the man. Okay, so well done with yesterday's work. So today we're thinking about adding some speech into the description that we've already been working on. This is my description. We started, if you remember, with noun phrases and then we developed some work on adverbial openness. And now we're going to think about putting in some speech to make it really exciting. I'm gonna read this through to you. Uh, you can follow it carefully. And then I'm gonna talk about the speech that I've used. Suddenly, Bertie could see the muddy white lion near the expansive dirty water hole. Positively trembling with excitement, he knew he wanted to rescue the lion club, cub, but he also knew he should not exit the fenced compound according to his father's instructions. Carefully, Bertie walked towards the water hole. Shouting loudly as he approached, Bertie scared off the menacing hyenas and then crept cautiously towards the lion. Easily, the lion cub followed Bertie into the compound. Mum, mum, come quickly, shouted Bertie. Look at this. Bertie's mother ran down the stairs and could not believe her eyes. He's not a white lion, Bertie, he's brown, she declared. He's covered in mum, mud, mum. Let's wash him. He's my white lion. He is. Bertie and his mother pulled out the old bathtub and proceeded to wash the lion. Soon they could see that he wasn't brown at all. Look, Mum, my white lion, exclaimed Bertie. OK, so it's from the story, but I've made it my own, children. Remember, you've made your own description at the top here. And what I've done, I've got my two characters, Mum and Bertie, talking. And it's about when they're washing the lion cub. So you can see here, Bertie speaks. Yeah, and he's shouting. So I've used shouted Bertie there. We've got our opening and closing of speech marks. Then I've got a bit of action. That always works well. We'll do a little bit of work on this. But this line here tells us what Bertie's mother is doing before she speaks. It's quite good to do that in a story. And then she speaks and she's got her own line for speaking. He's not a white lion, Bertie. He's brown, she declared. And Bertie answers mum. But again, can you see Bertie is on a new line? He's covered in mud, mum. Yeah. Then we've got another little bit of um, like a, a, a sentence that describes what happens. Bertie and his mother pulled out the old bathtub and proceeded to wash the lion. Soon they could see he wasn't brown at all. And then a little bit more speech. That's better doing that sort of thing, children, than just doing one line of speech, then another, then another, then another. Then another. And it just becomes a little bit boring to put some action in some narration, some description in between some of the speech like that is really, really good writing. 
Okay, so what do I want you to do? I want you to write some dialogue between Bertie and his mother. Think about what they would say to each other when they are washing the lion. Make sure the speech punctuation is accurate, just like we've been practicing. Bit of a challenge if you wanted to do a little bit extra for me. Um, next week, we're going to be looking at lots of different words for said, but you could try and use a variety of words for said in your little bit of speech. You can see that I've done that already. I've used shouted, I've used declared, I've used exclaimed. Can you come up with some more if you want to add to this piece of work and make it a little bit more challenging? I look forward to seeing your results on this little task, boys and girls, and see you next time. Goodbye.